Hey guys, I'm Taylor for Tracking the Miles on Instagram. Um, I leave in like 10 days for my six week backpacking trip through Europe. I am super excited. I'm going to 10 different countries, 11 cities, um, and it's just going to be a quick little um, what I'm packing to bring with me. Okay, so to start off, I have an Osprey for Farpoint uh, 40 liter bag. Um, I got it for Christmas and I took it on my trip to Sweden and Denmark back in January. I absolutely love it. It's like the perfect size um, and it also fits all carry-on um, restrictions so I can bring it on all of my flights as long as it's under the weight limit. Um, it's super cool because all of these straps, there's a flap that's right in here that comes out and you just pull it up and then zip it over it so that all these flaps are all tucked in so that nothing can get caught in any doors or any sort of overhead um, bins or anything like that, which I really like because I hate when my stuff gets damaged. Um, I also have, I have a luggage lock for my bag itself and then I also have a padlock that I'm bringing for hostel lockers because I've encountered a lot of places that don't have locks or don't use key card entry for them, so I just rather be safe than sorry. Um, so yeah, let's get into what's actually in my bag. Um, so I'll just let me clip these. So in this first little main compartment that's at the top, I just have my um, liquids bag, just because it's a super easy access to grab them out when I have to go through TSA. It was kind of a pain to have to unzip everything and pull them out. Um, I think I have, yeah, I have a spare pair of earplugs in there because people always seem to snore in my hostels. Okay, let's go with this one. Then there's this other flap that has this nice little laptop sleeve that I'm definitely going to utilize. It's super roomy. Um, and here I just have passport copy, some of my currency, and then a little uh, USB drive that can plug right into my phone. Um, super cool. Haven't quite gotten to utilize it yet, but definitely looking forward to doing that. Um, and I also have my packable day pack, um, which I'm planning on putting most of my stuff in um, after I go through TSA just to make it a little, little bit easier. Um, let's, okay, time to go into the big pack, wherever that zipper is. So the super awesome thing about this is that it opens up like a suitcase, so it's super easy to access everything. I really didn't want a top loader just because you kind of have to pull everything out in order to get anything out of it, so this works amazing for me. It's got these handy little luggage straps to keep everything all tight in there. Um, I am bringing a hat and a scarf um, just because I am kind of going to be going when it, there might still be some winter weather, it might be a little bit cooler. Um, like I said, I leave next week on the 25th of March, so just want to bring it just in case. Um, this is my toiletries bag, so we can go into this next. Okay, so here is all of my liquids over here, and then all of my non-liquid toiletries. Um, I'm bringing a little bottle of Dr. Bronner's um, Castile Soap just because it's super versatile and I can pretty much use it to wash anything. Um, my face, my body, whatever it may be. Um, I have two bottles of my moisturizer because I am getting tattooed this weekend, so only a week before I leave. So I need to have a lot of lotion in order to make sure that heals all right. Um, I have a Breva for if I get a cold sore, contacts because... I am blind and I cannot see without my glasses and contacts, so I want to make sure that I have backups just in case anything happens to them. So that means I have my contact solution with that because I'm not trying to have dry eyes or gross eyes. Um, I have some face sunscreen just in a little like sample size that I got from Sephora, I believe. Um, I have my like spot treatment for my acne just in case I get some, sometimes I get little ones. Just a little travel size bottle of toothpaste. And that's it for my liquids. Um, over here for my like dry toiletries or whatever you want to call them. I have all of them packed into this super handy like little pouch. It makes me pack 
super light, which is awesome because I have a 10 kilogram weight limit for Norwegian. And then I have a 7 kilogram weight limit for Ukrainian International. So we'll see how those go. Um, so yeah, I just have a, a little travel brush, my travel toothbrush with a little case on it to keep it clean. My razor so I don't have hairy legs, an extra one just in case. Um, got some Q-tips right here. My shampoo bar and conditioner bar are both in that little lush tin. They are amazing to travel with because I don't have to squeeze them in my liquids. Um, I have my deodorant stick because it's the easiest thing to bring and it lasts forever. Extra hair ties because I always run out. I have Zycam to make sure that I stay as healthy as I can because I tend to get sick a lot when I travel, which is not fun. So I'm going to try to prevent that. Um, I just bagged up some vitamin B12 to kind of give me some energy when I'm out and about just so I don't really have to drink that much caffeine because I know that's not really that good for you. And then I just have a little, I have some Tylenol. I love packing cubes. I freaking love them. Um, so this is just my miscellaneous cube. Just kind of has everything that isn't clothes in it. I have my makeup wipes, just bringing a pack of them, um, my makeup bag, I just have some eyeliner and mascara, lipstick, concealer, pretty simple stuff, nothing too heavy or big. I love this little pouch. My aunt's, my aunt gave it to me and I think she said that her mother-in-law got it from Armenia because they're Armenian. I absolutely love it. It's so pretty and so detailed. Um, yeah, it zooms in pretty well on it. Yeah, I just absolutely love it. It's so cute and literally the perfect size to bring with me. Because so I can just throw it in my bag. Okay, so I have my travel towel. There is a, I got the extra large size from Wolf Yawk. It's a microfiber towel, so it dries super fast. And I got the extra large just because they are a little bit small. So the XL is like my size. And it also comes with a smaller face cloth on the inside. I'm not really going to take them out because they're a pain to get back in here. But I love that they're in this little case because they don't have to get crumpled up with all the other stuff that's going in my bag. Um, I have an extra pair of sunglasses. I have my good pair that I love wearing that I got for Christmas. Um, I have those in my um, crossbody bag so I just have my extra pair in here just in case. Um, we'll go through that in a second. It's just This is just my little emergency kit. There's some band-aids in there, a sewing kit. Um, and I think my tweezers are all that's in there. I think that's all I put. But yeah. Um, just a little laundry sack for putting my clothes in so I can keep them separate from all my clean ones. have my flip-flops for the shower, obviously, because hostels can be gross, so I don't want to go barefoot. Um, I just have little like mittens pack just because like I said it is possibly going to be a little bit chilly when I go there at the beginning so I just want to make sure that I'm prepared and then I also am bringing these super cool things that my boyfriend got me for Christmas they are called bandolettes they're like thigh protectors if you have really big thighs like me I chafe really bad like when it's really warm out when I'm warm and like sweaty and stuff like that and these just like go around your thigh like under your shorts or your pants or your dress and just keep you from chafing and I haven't gotten to use them yet because like I said I did get them for Christmas but I'm so excited to be bringing them with me to see how they work okay so I know this says laundry pouch but I use it as a place to keep all of my like electronic goods like all my chargers and everything so I have my GoPro tripod that I'm bringing with me. Um, I have this super cool like power strip block that I just bought off of Amazon because it was like $15 and it's got the three outlets on it and then two USB ports on it too, which is awesome. I can plug it right into my adapter um, and that way I have more than just one outlet available. So here is my camera charger, it's that, and then I have the same thing for my GoPro charger, and I also have an extra battery, but those are both currently with my boyfriend as we, ah, as we try to fix my GoPro because it won't connect to my phone, which is an issue. 
Um, these are just like all of my cables. I just have them like rubber banded together. Oh, and I have this super cool, um, it's like a USB power strip. So I can even plug this into my other power strip. Um, and then just in this little sack, I have my adapters. I think I'm bringing two or three of them. Oh, so yeah, I just have two little iPhone blocks or anything to use for USB ports. And then I have two adapters. Okay, so I promise we're almost done with what's on the inside of my bag. This is just like my underwear and socks and bras and whatnot. So I'm not going to go through that. Um, and then here is my holy grail. I am super proud of the fact that I packed this light. Um, cause like I said in the beginning, I am going to be gone for six weeks and I managed to pack almost nothing. Um, so we can just go through this again in a packing cube. Love it. Makes it so much easier. Okay. Let's delve into it. So I just have this like olive green, like v-neck t-shirt that I got from American Eagle. It's super soft and I have the exact same shirt in white, um, that I'm also bringing with me. They're like that they're like soft and sexy material if you know American Eagle. It's awesome and super soft and super comfy, so I'm really excited for that. Um this is my like sleep shirt. It's from my work. I work at a brewery. So I figured it'd be cool to bring a little shirt with me, take it around the world, and hopefully someone strikes up a conversation about it. Cause I suck at meeting people. But yeah, Brown's Brewery in Troy, New York pretty good beer. I like it. So those are the only t-shirts that I'm bringing, like short-sleeved. Um, I am bringing this long sleeve shirt. It's like an olive thermal. Um, I got that for Christmas. It's super soft and comfy and stretchy. So um, it'll do awesome keeping me warm when I'm walking around the city and whatnot. I'm also bringing this black scoop neck long sleeve shirt I've had for a while. Um, it's just super simple and like thin enough so that it doesn't keep me super warm, which is what I like, especially if I'm going out. Um, and yeah, I just really like that one. And then I'm bringing one more long sleeve shirt, but it's what I'm wearing on the plane. And it is currently in my dirty laundry basket. Um, so... We can go into my, I'm bringing a lot of tank tops because I get really warm like all the time. So I just like to wear tank tops more and then just layer sweaters and jackets and whatnot over it. So I'm just bringing like this light pink bodysuit, um, just like wear under my leggings or whatnot. Um, I'm actually not bringing that because I'm trying to keep to the bare necessities. So I'm bringing that tank top and then I have this long black one um it's super cute i love it it's very versatile and again all my stuff is like super soft and comfy and then i also have this tank top from american eagle again they're soft and sexy material it is literally my favorite it's so soft and it's so stretchy um and it's just my favorite stuff to wear um oh i actually am bringing a third fourth t-shirt just a black, plain black one. Keep it simple. It's a v-neck. I only like v-necks. Um, but yeah, sorry. Forgot about that one. Okay, so for bottoms, I'm going like super bare-boned. I have these cotton shorts for sleeping. They're just plain black. Um, and then I'm bringing these denim shorts for when it does get a little bit warmer out because I'm going to be traveling into May. Um, so I want to make sure that I'm at least a little bit prepared for that. Um... I am bringing two pairs of leggings with me. I'm bringing, I'm bringing a black pair and then like a cranberry red pair. But again, they are both dirty. I'm wearing them both on the plane because I get really cold on planes. Um, so yeah, th and that's all I'm bringing for pants. So yeah, that's it for the main compartment of my bag. Um, it's super roomy in here and you can shove stuff like way deep so that it sits low on your back and doesn't hurt your shoulders by like pulling back. So I am bringing a small like packable day pack with me, but that is going to be staying in my bag until at least I go through TSA just to make my life a little bit easier. So I am bringing this um, 
just like old like crossbody bag that I've had I think like forever I brought it to Russia with me I had it in Germany and it's super cute and I don't really care if it breaks or anything which is awesome um so yeah let's get into what's in it so on this outside pocket I have some chapstick some coconut chapstick from yes Two, which is amazing I love them um I have my good sunglasses I like to keep my sunglasses in the cases just because um they do get scratched pretty easily and then I literally can't see because I'm blind so yeah always put your sunglasses in cases people um, I have some headphones for my phone because I do have an iPhone 7, so got to make sure I got that gross lightning port on the end of my headphones, which makes it a pain in my ass. Um, just a little choker I'm bringing with me to <coughs> accessorize. Got another one. Then I have some headphones for both my laptop and for the plane with the normal headphone jack. I'm trying to make my life a little bit easier. Um, and I also have like an extra strap for my Apple Watch because I am going to be bringing that with me. And then I also have some wet ones to just like keep everything clean around me. Keep me clean if I have to like quick like wipe my face down. Um, just like some like eye mask for when I get there or when I'm coming home, whatever I prefer. They're gold and they like help reduce like puffiness and whatnot, like under your eyes. So that's key. I have a bottle of Excedrin because I get really bad headaches when I fly. So I really don't want to have to deal with that. So I'm bringing my Excedrin with me. I have just like a hair clip for my hair because it gets super unmanageable and the hair ties are always not that comfortable. Um, I have a bottle of melatonin and then I also have a baggie of ibuprofen stuffed inside. Um, I like to take melatonin like right when we take off so that I can hopefully sleep for a large duration of the trip. Okay, I have a pen because you literally always need a pen. Like, whether you're in, your, you're in the airport, you have to fill out customs forms on a plane, whatever. Always bring a pen with you. And then that is all for that pocket. So, let's go into the big one. So, I just bought this um, inflatable travel pillow. And it came with an eye mask and earplugs, which is awesome because I've been trying to find them. And for some reason, my Walmart and Target, like, by my house, don't have them. So, it comes in this handy little carrying case. It takes, like, literally five seconds to blow up the pillow. Ah, everything's just chilling in there. Can't really see, but, yeah, super convenient. Packs down small, so it's not, like, lugging around on the outside of my bag where I'm probably going to lose it. In here, I also have my travel wallet. It's super handy and small has a bunch of different compartments inside um yeah I can hold my money hold my cards and all that fun stuff right in there and it's got the little wristlet so I can take it out with me and not have to bring my bag because my phone also fits in it which is amazing um this is one of my portable batteries this is just like my lighter one I have another like really heavy duty one that weighs like literally I'm not even kidding three pounds but that one keeps everything charged for like two weeks straight without having to recharge it. Um, this one is good for like two or three charges. Um, so I'm just going to bring this on the plane with me and use that. Oh, and I also forgot to mention, I also have a pair of wireless headphones that I'm bringing on the plane so that I can charge my phone and also listen to music or whatever and sleep at the same time because I hate listening to other people and babies cry on flights. And I probably sound like a monster for saying that, but I just want to get my flight over with and be at my destination um and then the last thing that I have in this little bag is my passport which is the most important part literally can't go anywhere without it my brother's girlfriend gave me this super cute passport case for Christmas it says adventure awaits on it and yeah it just has all that and then I have like my Turkish visa paper right there but I don't lose it 
and yeah that's all that I have in my bags oh wait no I forgot about my camera I am bringing my Canon EOS Rebel T6 with me it's um pretty small I just have like I just have one lens for it. it's just in here um I love it I took it to Ireland with me in October and then to Sweden and Denmark in January it fits perfectly in my bag and um it takes really nice pictures so yeah super excited for that and like I said I'm also bringing my GoPro with me but that is currently at my boyfriend's house so it's kind of a mess right now but this is everything that I'm bringing with me on my six week trip through eastern Europe one more thing guys I forgot to mention that I'm also bringing these two scarves on the plane with me um this is like a travel scarf it has this like super nifty zipper I can't figure out which way it goes hold on yeah it has like this super nifty zipper like right on the seam so you can like put like your phone and whatnot in there so that like your stuff doesn't get stolen like on the plane or when you're on a train or a bus um shout out to my mom for giving this to me for christmas uh, my family definitely hooked me up with a bunch of like travel gear that's super handy and it's also like one of my favorite colors i love this olive green cover color and then i'm also bringing this platok with me that i brought back with me from moscow I love it so much. It's black and white, so it goes with everything. Pattern is absolutely gorgeous, and it's freaking huge. I use it as a blanket, um, which is awesome, and it's also a scarf, obviously. And I just like to bring a lot of scarves with me because I love going to churches and cathedrals, and um, I'm going to be going to Turkey, so obviously I have to have like my head covered when I go into mosques and whatnot. Um, so, yeah, that's why I love bringing scarves with me always bring a scarf with you no matter where you're traveling because you're probably going to end up going into churches or cathedrals or some sort of monument or religious area where you do need to have your head covered. So another quick little tidbit that I forgot to include in all my other stuff. These are the shoes that I'm going to be uh, wearing on the plane and they're going to be my main shoes when I am in Europe. Um, I'm really trying to avoid bringing boots just because they're really heavy and I am going to be traveling when it's going to be a little bit warmer and I don't want to be sweating my butt off wearing like winter boots or my Doc Martens or anything so I'm just going to be traveling with these pink Vans high tops. They're super cute. They're my powerlifting shoes so I really hope they don't get ruined um, but if they do it's whatever. They're like $60. Um, yeah I love this like pink color. They're my favorite. Um, but yeah so that's what I'm wearing on the plane and through most of my travels. Um, Thank you guys so much for watching if you made it this far um please be sure to hit the subscribe button below um drop me a comment if you have any tips or questions or anything and i will also drop my instagram handle and my blog link right in the description